Alrighty guys, what is going up? I hope you guys are all having a great and an amazing day today. Now in today's episode, we're gonna look at Live Nation Entertainment. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and overall, I hope you guys learned something. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them down below, and I'll get back to every single one of you. So now that's jump into the episode, I hope you guys enjoy it, and overall, I hope you guys learned something. So now roll the intro, let's go. So for those of you that don't know what Live Nation Entertainment is, Live Nation Entertainment is a merger with Ticketmaster. And Ticketmaster is one of the largest ticket providers to sports venues and concerts across the United States. So I saw this article by CNBC stating that Mark Cuban is looking to buy a couple shares of this stock. So that drew my attention to look at it. And honestly, the stock looks pretty decent. It does have this beautiful upward trend, but we'll get into it. We're gonna look at the chart in a little bit, but what are what do the finances look like? Well, before the this whole recession and this whole market crash, Live Nation Entertainment stock was roaring up. It was up around 28% of last year, which beat the S&P 500, Dow Jones, and the NASDAQ. So when you guys are looking at stocks, especially during a time of market volatility, one of the things you guys have to look at is how much cash they have on hand. So right now, Live Nation Entertainment has around $3.2 billion in cash. And this is a roughly 22% increase over the year. So it's pretty crazy that they can still save cash during this whole market volatility. And I think it's a very smart move for them to save cash. So how much money did they make last quarter? Well, they did make around $1.3 billion and that was an overall 20% decline on what they normally would make. I think that this is due to this whole kind of recession and market volatility where people aren't going out and going to sports venues and this stock got hit very hard from it. Now, when you guys are looking at a stock like this, there's a couple things that you guys need to look at. You have to kind of have a realistic prediction for the future for it. So how long do you think it's gonna take for people to be, you know, feel comfortable going to sports venues, going to concerts and stuff like that. If you guys think it's gonna take a couple of years, maybe stay away from this stock because overall, that's what this company really specializes in. Now this stock does not pay a dividend, which kind of sucks, but overall, it's honestly pretty decent. So now let's actually go ahead and look at the chart and look to see if it's a buy, sell, hold, perfect price point, what should you do with it? So let's go. Alrighty guys, so we have Live Nation Entertainment, ticker symbol LYV. So as you guys see the three year chart, we have this beautiful upward trend. And as you guys see this yellow line, here this is what you call a 200 moving average line when the stock is above it like it is up here this line acts as a support line so this just means we have a tendency to see a stock get you know bounced from it when a stock falls below it like it is right here this yellow line here acts as a resistance so as you guys see it's come in contact with it right here and got sold off comes in contact with it right here and i personally think we're going to get some sort of sell-off once this stock breaks above this line though this is pretty much when we get a tendency to see a resistant breakout so once this happens the stock's going to shoot back up and the nearest resistance in sight is all the way back up here at the highs so i do think that this stock could easily reach the highs but the reason why i'm holding off on buying it is just due to this line because i want to make sure that this is you know the best price i can get in at and overall, if let's say we just get a nasty sell-off, I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna average my position down more. So when the overall market recovers, this stock's gonna boom back up. But you have to be very realistic with this stock. You know, I understand that their uh, revenue was down on the past quarter. I think that's just due to people not going out and people not being able to go to you know sports venues, people not being able to go to concerts. And I do think that this is going to take a couple years for the stock to recover. I understand that you know people think there's better opportunities in the market elsewhere, but you know Mark Cuban believes in this stock, and I do see his overall opinion on it it does have a beautiful uptrend the overall finances look pretty decent you know the only issue right now with this stock is their profit their profit is down around 20 percent and i do think that once they kind of fix that the stock's going to be back up and overall they don't pay a dividend which you know for you dividend guys the this may be you know something you don't really need but i do think that getting in on this stock is going to be a uh, a very good buy in the future so that is it though. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and if you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another one. Uh, remember to stay happy, stay positive and overall have a good rest of your day. Take care guys, have a good day.